Okay, let's look at how you can get a good deck for learning vocabulary for the IELTS exam. The first thing you need is the Anki program, so you can run the flashcards. Um, Anki's free for desktops. Um, any computer, it's free. It's free if you have an Android phone or Android tablet. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, then you have to pay. I recommend it. It's worth it. Okay. So you just come to the website there, and then you click download. You need to download Anki for whatever computer you have, and then go through the usual process of downloading the file, opening it when it's finished downloading, running the program, clicking yes, 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 um, and then when you've got the program on your on your computer, on your device, <coughs> the next step is to go to Anki Shared Decks. So the decks are the groups of cards that you can use. And different people put up the decks they've made onto the internet. So you can see here you've got Arabic, Chinese, English, you've got all these different languages, anatomy, biology. And the deck we're going to get today is connected with IELTS. So put in IELTS. You can see here there are a lot of different decks, lots and lots and lots of decks that happen there. Um, these are some cards here I make. Um, Advanced English for IELTS, TOEFL, CPCA, LC Languages. Um, they're a little bit more for speaking, very good cards, but what we're looking at in this video is for, for reading and listening to build up your more or less passive vocabulary. So the one that's quite good here is, and it's the top one here, Baron's Essential Words for the IELTS. So seven people have given it five stars. It has 750 cards, 752 MP3 sounds, so it has sound. And it has 1,161 images. Okay, so the next thing is you click on that one. You'll notice this one here, Baron's Essential Words for the IELTS Unit 1. Um, it only has 91 cards. Um, the reason why this one has less is it's only Unit 1. This first deck, let's click on it to look. This first deck actually took all the other ones and put them together. So it shows you some examples of cards. You just come down here and you click download. I'm not going to click it because I've already got it. It takes some time to download. So I'm a joke, okay, I'll do it now. Click on download. Say yeah, no problem. Let me cancel that one now. Okay, so it'll take a little bit of time to download because it's quite a big deck. Um, and then once it's downloaded, um, things are fairly simple. You have Anki on your computer already. Um, you just need to Open the file there, you can see there Baron's Essential Words for the IELTS down here. And then you just double click on it. It might say something's not quite working, blah 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 blah. Anki will open, the program Anki. So if it doesn't work the first time, just go back and double click again. This time it tells you how many cards are imported, bang. Then have a look in the deck here, you've got Baron's Essential Words for the IELTS. So you can hear you've got Baron 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They're the different chapters in the book. So, I mean, you can start with chapter 10 or start with chapter 1. It doesn't matter. We'll start with chapter 1, the natural world. Okay, study now. It's the button you click. Okay, what is this word? So that's the word you have to remember or you have to produce. And then here you have growing or living in or near water connected with water. So it's something about anything connected with water. Down the bottom here, um, down the bottom here, I'll just get it on the screen. No, not quite there. Down the bottom you have show answer. Aquatic. Aquatic. So there you go, it gives you that there. So aquatic, there's the pronunciation. Growing or living in, there's the definition again. And this is really good, I like this. It gives you some collocations to look at, combinations, word combinations. So aquatic plants. So a plant that's growing or living in or near water. That's an aquatic plant. Aquatic life. Life that is growing or living on or near water. Aquatic ecosystems. Aquatic sports. Sports that are connected with water. So when you look at the collocations and then you look at the definition, it helps you build your understanding of what the word is because everything's in English. 
Now, the disadvantage with everything in English is you don't know, oh, how do I say this word in my language? Okay? Um, if you want to do the IELTS, it's a very good idea to get used to, to get into the habit of operating in English, of reading in English and understanding in English. Maybe you don't understand every word, but you can, you can build the picture and understand the general picture. That's an important skill. Um, look, if you've got really big problems and you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to have the word in your language, um, then what you can do is just put it into a translate system. Aquatic, like that. Say so aquatic plant, for example, we could go like that. And there we go, we can see here that's the Chinese equivalent. So when you find it out in your language, you can then come back to Anki and come down to the left corner, you'll see an edit button. Now, maybe it's not in English, your Anki program, but you press edit. And this gives you this little box here. So that's the word, that's the front. Well, no, it's not the front. That's the word. There's a the little gap that you saw growing or living in. Um, so what you want, perhaps you can put it with the definition. Let's put it here. And this is the one here. Bang. So there, I've added the Chinese to that part where it says definition. I'll close it. And you can see here, there, the Chinese has come in there. So that will help you understand what the word is, if you want to do it like that. No, what if you don't want the Chinese here? What if you want the Chinese up here? You come back to edit. You take out the Chinese there, and you put it in that one there. You press close, and there it is, the big Chinese up there. Maybe you don't want the Chinese on the front. Let's put it on the back. So we get rid of there, and there's the picture, and where's the back? There it is, phonetic symbol. And we can put it right there. Close. It's not there. Show Aquatic. It. Aquatic. And there you can see the Chinese there. Okay, so that's how you do this deck. If you get it wrong, you press again. What is this word? Uh, why? A group or collection of things or people, often one that is larger and impressive. Array. Hooray. Hooray. I got it correct. If you get it correct, you press easy. If you get it wrong, you press again. If you get it correct, but it wasn't easy, then you press good. And you can see here, four days. If it's easy, I'll see the card again in four days. So, for example, today is Wednesday. So when I press easy, which I'll do now, bang, that means the card will go away for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then on Sunday, when I open Anki, it will show me this card again. That's the repetition. You repeat the words. The reason why Anki sends it away for four days is it's easy. If it's difficult and you get it wrong, for example, this one, what is this word? De, sir. Against something that provides protection against attack from enemies, the weather illness. Ooh, I don't know. Chance. Defense. Defense. Ah, of course. I press again. You can see here one m, which means one minute. So I press again. I'll see this card in one minute. Like this one here, I got it wrong, I see it again. Ah, oh, quick, yeah, quick, I can't remember. Aquatic. Ah, aquatic, of course, again. What's this word? Do in, the act of cutting down or burning the trees in an area. Deforestation. Deforestation. Ah, land erosion caused by widespread deforestation. An example sentence. Again, let's say you don't understand this clearly. Yeah. Come to your translation, deforestation. Put it in there, take your language equivalent, come back to Anki, where do we go? The bottom left, edit, and then let's put it, let's put it right next to that gap, bang. So there you go there, I've put in that Chinese equivalent there, if you want to do that, doesn't take too long. I recommend you try not to do that because they have the picture, you can see a picture here, and I think the picture, the act of cutting down or burning the trees, this is an act, an action. Yeah, you, you need to get used to Siguana Priviknoj Akustan Brasse, that's easy to You need to you need to get used to operating and understanding in English. If it's really not clear and you've got no idea, then use your language. Do change it. But if you more or less understand what it is, don't worry about it. Okay, so that's how you can look at the cards and how to review the cards, show answer. Deforestation. Deforestation, again. So there it is again, the word I got wrong. Uh, defense, show answer. Defense. 
This time it was good. It was good. It wasn't easy. It was a bit difficult. So I'm going to press good and it'll come back in 10 minutes. Aquatic. Aquatic. That was easy. So that's going to come back four days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or Saturday. Anyway, four days. Okay, what's this word? And the natural world in which people and animals and plants live. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Let's go back to Dex. It's quite interesting. Let's look at Deck 10 or Chapter 10. Study now. Okay, this is an interesting aspect. In this one, in this chapter, you have the same system where it has the gapped word and then a definition, an, an official decision, especially one made by court. Now we can see here it says type your answer. And this is what I really like. It's good to have a keyboard. I think it's a bit easier. You have to type the answer. So let's say I remember, ah, that word is ruling. And I type this in. R-U-L-L-I-N-G. So I know it's ruling. I know the sound. And I type it in. But I use two L's. Let's see what happens. Show answer. Ruling. Bam. You can see the red here. That means that I didn't spell it correctly. I made a spelling mistake. Because here is the correct answer. There should only be one L. This is really important, not in the reading. In the reading test, when you're reading and you see ruling, you understand it without a problem. In the listening, it's different. In the listening test, you hear, and there was a recent ruling, ah, the answer is ruling, and you have to write the answer that you hear. You have to write it. And unfortunately, in the IELTS, if you make a mistake with spelling, you are wrong. Even if you hear the word correctly, even if it's very clear that you understood that word, if there's one letter that's wrong, you lose a mark. So what usually happens on the listening test is students probably lose one or two, maybe even three marks on the listening test, not because they didn't know the word, but because they didn't know the spelling. Unfortunately, some students have a big problem with spelling. Students who have a big problem with spelling, they can lose five or eight marks. So let's say, for example, instead of getting, they get, they actually get, let's say, a good mark, let's say 30 out of 40. 40 questions, they answer 30 questions correctly, but they make eight mistakes with spelling. So in the end, they only get 22 out of 40. Um, I don't like that. It's a listening test, not a spelling test, but it's IELTS decision. So that's what I really like here when they ask you to do the spelling. Next part will be a little bit difficult, perhaps. So what we're going to look at now is, if you remember, when we looked at the first one, Chapter 1, Baron 1 here, um, it didn't ask for spelling. But when we look at this one here, Number 10, it asks for the spelling. Yeah, type your answer here. Let's have a look at another deck, Baron 5. Does it ask for spelling? Yes. Okay, it also asks for spelling. So let's have a little look. Then we go to edit, and then we go to this one up the top here, cards. So we're not going to change this specific card. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to look at the cards in general. So here it is, the cards in general. As you can see, this is showing me, on this part here, it's showing me the card. There's the front of the card, and there's the back of the card. And here's a little bit of programming language. Here's a little bit of programming language. Okay, now the thing, the thing that makes you type the word, type your answer here, if you look here on this left side, you can see type your answer here, type your answer here. And then after that, you've got this little thing here, type word. And that's an instruction to Anki to actually ask you to type in this answer here. Okay, what we can do is we can actually go like this. Bang, and it disappears. So now, now, when I when I do this card here, I'll close that. Now when I do it, look, it doesn't ask me for the spelling. It doesn't say write this word. So if you don't want to practice your spelling, if you just want to quickly learn the words passively, then it's a good idea to take away that spelling option. If you think, no, no, I'm ready to spend more time to learn the spelling, I'm ready to spend more time, then, again, edit, and then here, cards. Abroad. 
abroad and then that little bit there you just you paste in type your answer here dot that one there in fact you can change this any you can you can put anything here these are just the words let's look at it you know you can put right I'm gonna write right the answer yeah and you can see here now it's right the answer or I can go back to type your answer here type your answer here on the left type your answer there okay so let's imagine that we want to do that actually I'll come back here Brad. Let's copy that line there. So I'm going to copy, copy. I'll use that one there. Copy. And then I close it. I close this one. I come back to my decks. Let's go to Baron 1. So here they don't ask you for the spelling. How can we make it ask us for the spelling? We go to Edit. We go to Cards. Deforestation. Yeah, and we have a look for, we've got Definition, or Deforestation. Here's the definition. The act of cutting down. And let's let's ask for the spelling after the act of cutting down, blah, 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 blah. So you can see this is in blue. If we come over here, we see color blue because this is telling Anki what to do for that line. So I'm actually going to make an extra line there, like that one, actually, and then I'll paste in the line from the other one. And then you can see there, type your answer here. The picture's still there underneath it. Type your answer here. Okay, and then I'm going to close that and close that. And there we go, it's asking for deforestation. So I'm going to type my answer. Deforestation. Bang! There's nothing, there are no corrections then. What happened there? Let's have a look. Let's come back to another one that has it there, Baron 10. Study now. Edit. Cooling. Okay. Here on the back, you can see there's type word. So it's asking, it's, it's, it's got that type word there on the back and up the top here, type word. So obviously we need to take this one now, we'll copy that, we'll close it, close it, go back to Dex, come back to the natural world, what do you want to do, study now, edit, calm, deforestation, okay, and then we chuck that down the line, bang, and there you can see on the back now we also have that thing there, so let's see if that works now. Okay, type your answer here. Let's put D E for day. Let's make a mistake. C O I O N. Deforestation. Show answer or press enter. Deforestation. Oh no, I got it wrong. Okay, so if you're testing your spelling, and even if you're very close, you still want to say again until you get the spelling correct. Okay, so this has this this deck or these ten, I should say. If you look at them there, Baron 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, they have about 750 words in them. Um, and as you can see from those words, they're fairly academic, they're specific. Let's have a look. Let's go down to Unit 6, Study Now. Yeah, the ability to think creatively or form pictures in your mind. Yeah? So it's a noun. We're looking for a noun. E imagination. Imagination. Yeah, yeah, I got it correct and it was easy. Next one. A person who studies ancient cultures. An artist. Artist. Now these guys here, are they artists? They don't look like artists. Damn, they're archaeologists. Archaeologists. Ooh. Oh, wait. I've put sir, but here it's the singular. Okay. Archaeologist. Now, in your listening test, if you hear the singular, if you hear archaeologist, but you write archaeologists, it's a very good chance that will be wrong too. So this is good. It trains you to be very specific about what you do. Personally speaking, I find it easy to use the keyboard. It might be a bit more difficult if you're doing it on your phone. I, don't, I haven't done it on the phone, really. Um, but yeah, I recommend doing this deck if you're doing the IELTS. Probably try and do 10, 10 cards a day. Start with 10 cards a day. Let's have a look at that. So we go to decks, like that there. Um, actually, we'll come out to that one there. What we want is to have a look at the options. So the options are down the bottom here. Okay. And we've got new cards per day. So let me just show that again. You go to options down the bottom. Actually, we'll come back here, decks. So you can see there's no options here. Go into the deck, barons. Go to options. Okay. New cards per day, 20. That's a bit much. Let's only have 10 new cards a day. Okay. Um, and that's the only thing I'd recommend changing. Ten new cards a day. Bang. 
Okay, so it says new learning five. That tells me how many I've got left. Let's change that to 100 new cards a day. Options, 100 new cards a day. Boom. Okay, you can see 94. So it's, it's put in a lot more cards for me to do. Start studying now. That's a bit much. Let's change it back down to 10. What you will find is when you start, you've only got new cards. But as you go and you do more and more each day and each week, then each day you'll see your 10 new cards, and you'll also see those other old cards you've already done coming back in. So you'll find that, that as time goes by, you'll have to do more and more and more repetitions. If you find that you've got too many rep repetitions to do, that it's too much work for you, then come to Options, go to New Cards Per Day, give yourself zero, no more new cards, and then that allows you to get through all those old cards that you can't quite get through because you don't have time. Okay, I think that's about it for now. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave a question um, downstairs, and hopefully I'll be able to answer it so you can do what it is you actually want to do.